Mr. Chairman, in your introduction, you did a pretty good job of talking about the successful qualities that we admire about you back at home in South Carolina. We're very proud of who you are and what you represent. You've both had the privilege and the opportunity to advocate on behalf of employers and employees, and you've done a fine job. And David, thank you for your service as well. It seems like public service is in your DNA. As you may know, uh, there's a lot of noise on the Hill today about Facebook with their CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, testifying before the Senate. Okay, I'll be glad to take your time. I want to talk about Facebook and a conversation I think needs to be had somewhere. I'm not on Judiciary. I'm not on Commerce Committee. So this will be where I have that conversation. And it is about discrimination. Two black conservative women, Lynette Hardaway and Rochelle Richardson, better known as Diamond and Silk, built a substantial following on Facebook over the past few years. Recently, Facebook, a company where at least in their terms of their senior leadership, would have to look up the definition of diversity because they've had none. They came to the conclusion that their policy team, and I quote, their policy team has come to the conclusion that your content and brand has been determined unsafe to the community. This is Facebook talking to Diamond and Silk, suggesting that their content is unsafe for the community. What is it about two black women espousing their support of the President of the United States that makes them unsafe for the community? They aren't bullies. They aren't violent. They aren't inciting riots. I don't always agree with their methodology or even some of their statements, but I don't have to agree with them. That's the beauty of the First Amendment, isn't it? Tell me, if they were two African-American liberals espousing their views about a liberal political figure, would they too be considered unsafe? I don't think they would. This would appear to be the height of liberal hypocrisy. Facebook's support of freedom of speech seems to only include liberal speech. Facebook has decided that they are within their rights to censor speech, certain speech. Where is the outcry that these two African-American conservatives have been censored? Now, some people might say that Facebook is a private company, and that's true. But Facebook is no ordinary tech company. In fact, it's no ordinary company regardless of the industry. Tens of millions of Americans share huge amounts of their personal lives on this platform. A platform, I might add, that often defends itself using the First Amendment, but doesn't seem to care about those policies for their users. Don't get me wrong. If you're Russians trying to influence the election, kick them off. But they didn't. If you're inciting hate and violence, kick them off. Absolutely. But if you're two African-American conservative women sharing your somewhat colorful but ultimately harmless opinions, I'd like to think that's okay for the community. We put restrictions on banks deemed too big to fail and other large industries, but these huge companies are now deciding that they are the arbiters of Americans' constitutional rights. Last week, it was Citigroup deciding that they don't like the Second Amendment, so they're going to punish business owners. And now we have Facebook deciding that Diamond and Silk do not have the right to speak and the right to their First Amendment. If this was an office environment, I think we would all be appalled. I just want to know the answer to Diamond and Silk's own question. And this is your question, simple question. What is unsafe about two black women supporting the president, Donald J. Trump. Thank you.